Hello, welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Here we are at the Daughter of Chaos, our good old spider friend here. Um, she is a firekeeper, so we're actually going to use her and uh, reinforce our Estus Flask. Yes. And just like that, we now have a plus four Estus Flask. This is as good of a flask you can get um, in a single playthrough without killing any firekeepers. Um, but we'll be doing New Game Plus, so we won't have to do that. But anyway, we're over here because um, the Demon Ruins is the next big area we're going to tackle, yes. Um, before we do that though, uh, we do have to re-enter this covenant with, uh, with Quailana, was it? I don't remember. <laughs> Something. Either way, we're going to join the, uh, this is the Daughters of Chaos, was it? Or the Chaos Servants, that's what it was. Yes, uh, she is a Daughter of Chaos, but uh, we are not going to be one. Now, what we are going to have to do is offer her humanity, and we actually have to offer her a good amount of it, um, 30 in total, in fact. So we're going to go ahead and use a bunch of the stuff we got here, and I'm actually wondering if we can use selected, just like we can with souls, kind of, um, item. Oh yeah, awesome. So let's use all of these, that'll get us up to 16, and we got to use another 14. And that's actually going to be most of the humanity we found up to this point. And you might be wondering, why are we doing this, right? Because uh, this is a tremendous usage of resources. Um, well, we're doing this because of a certain thing that's going to be coming up in the area, uh, which I will explain when we get there, but it's, uh, just trust me for now, it's very important. Now, if we uh, go ahead, yeah, the remastered, you can select how much. You'd have to do this one at a time in the original, which kind of sucked. So first let's offer just 10. Um, that'll get us a cool pyromancy. Uh, or not, it might have been a different amount. So let's, uh, okay, let's just give her all of it. Um, we're gonna have to give her 30 eventually. I think she's still gonna give us a thing if we do this. There we go. Okay, so that'll give us Chaos Storm, which is uh, pretty cool. So maybe that was at 15 or 20, not totally sure. But um, at rank 30, that's gonna let us activate something later on in the level. So, now that we're a Chaos Servant and we're down here, let's actually proceed on. Now, a while ago we did, um, when we rung the bell, we did poke our heads into the Demon Ruins, um, but we didn't actually do much, right? We just killed Ceaseless Discharge, grabbed his sister's clothes off of her corpse, <laughs> and got the heck out of there. Um, this time though we'll try to stop and smell the roses a bit. Um, may as well rest at this bonfire. <laughs> Because, uh, look at that, I can't just let a bonfire go unused throughout a playthrough. It's so sad. Um, we don't have much to do. I don't think we can level up uh, anymore. Uh, yeah, not much else to do. So, let's just keep on going. Uh, we're back to the Dragon Crest Shield, because that's got much better fire defense. And if you couldn't tell, this place is a little bit fire-themed. <laughs> and we're also going to have a lot of... Um, I guess you could say, I don't know if I want to say easy time, but not as hard of a time because we do have our Black Knight Sword, which I uh, did mention does have a bonus damage against demons. Now that we're fully upgraded, we're going into the Hornet's Nest of the demons. And this ain't Black Town where we're just going to get a few demon bugs. We're going to get some big demons. So over there, a lot over there, <laughs> is um, a bunch of uh, tourist demons who, if you remember, they were a boss <laughs> the first real boss we fought, if you remember, back on the bridge in uh, the Undead Berg. So that's a common enemy now. <laughs> um, maybe not common, but we're, they're just as if they are a normal enemy. Um, this whole area, by the way, was a big lava lake. Um, after we killed Ceaseless Discharged, a lot of it came down. There's still a few pools of lava. Um, and those guys over there, they are guarding a special item, if you can see over there. We'll be back once we have an item that'll make dealing with that a lot easier. Um, but here we have a Capra Demon again was a boss, but now is just going to be an enemy. But well, let's see how easily he goes down. Watch this initial attack, and we get the stagger, and oh! Wow, that could have been a 1-2 if I didn't miss it, but still, 3 shots. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. With no dogs or cramped area, they ain't so bad. So, let's continue on. And get to the actual ruinous parts of the de demon runes. Alright, stop this. Taking the view a little bit. Uh, we do have an NPC invasion coming up. So that's why I'm human. Um, 
And I don't know exactly where it triggers. It's somewhere around here. But we will recognize him. Oh, and we will have just a few more <laughs> Capra Demons to fight. Um, and I'm pretty sure the trigger will happen before we hit the... Oh, here we go. Yep, a uh, familiar face, Dark Knight Kirk. And he's going to show up right over here. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. And finish him off. Yeah, Kirk, Kirk ain't got nothing on us, but Valiant for bro. Get a healthy amount of souls there, as well as some humanity. So, all in all, easy, easy souls. Um, okay, so, at this part, you may want to just go and fight through the demons, but if you drop down here, um, and watch out for that worm right there that just came out, you'll notice there's actually a bonfire right there. Now... We could fight our way through, or we can just do this first. Um, but this thing is guarding the bonfire, so we do have to be careful. So let's uh, let's heal up. Um, oh, that's not my Estus. <laughs> that's my Estus. Uh, these guys are tricky. We're going to have to be a little careful here, because they can do a lot of damage, but they also go down easily, because they are also demons. And I said we don't have any bugs to fight. We still got a few. Um, I don't think that's, that thing is going to come back, right? Because, like, that'd be awful if you get up from the bonfire and immediately attacks us. So, let's condense some of these souls. Um, okay, we do have the stats we need. Enough faith, enough intelligence, strength, and dexterity. Yeah, so, attunement is also 14. That's as much as I want in the end. So, let's get some more vitality. How about that? And then, ooh, we're 3,000 souls short. Don't worry, we'll have that in a moment here. So if we continue onwards, um, oh, right here, by the way, you may not you may not notice this, but you'll notice there's a looks like a statue, right? This gross um, chaos <laughs> monster bug. Uh, we'll be seeing that later on. Don't worry, it's proper form. And oh, here we have a new enemy. These are the uh, demon statues. And, oh yeah. We're just going to one-shot them. <laughs> so that's very nice. Um, they'll run up to you and sort of blast some fire. So not too big of a deal. They're, they go down real easy. Um, now let's come up here, because I feel bad just skipping all these Capra Demons. Now they got placed here for us to fight, provide a challenge, and we just completely avoided it. So let's see how we do here. Oh, look at that. We can just poise through a hit. Now, I don't think there's actually much to gain doing this, so, I don't know. Uh, let's fight two at once, how about that? It's a little more challenging. Okay, it's one down. So we miss, get the stagger. Oh, man, I keep forgetting it knocks him back. Alright, may as well finish these two off. Let's see, I wonder if we can... Oh yeah, double stagger. In easy mode. Yeah, we're uh, we've come a long way, everybody. Um, oh, and that'll actually get us the souls we need to level up. So let's do that. Uh, yep, keep getting. I want our vitality up to around 30. I think we'll do this good. Um, you know, each one level at a time. We may not not notice much, but trust me, we're, not, we're finally at a point where we're not going to be so squishy <laughs> with our health, which I'm going to be very happy about. Let's take this guy out. And get this thing here. And wow, yeah, his face is right there. Nice and ugly and gnarly. Um, okay, we're gonna have a handful more statues to deal with, which is no big deal at all. Okay, I'll let this guy actually, yeah, see? They're just like little, I guess, I don't know if you wanna call them tanks. Oh, well, this guy's a tank for sure. Uh, yeah, two shot. Demon Taurus. Dark Souls is easy. Not really. Okay. Oh, oh well. Almost fell off. <laughs> okay, so up this way is the boss. Um, okay, I got these guys' attention, so let's just finish them off. We got a few more things to do out here. Um, now, that bug right over. Oh, okay, that's a Cabra Demon. I think there's a bug around here somewhere. Uh, if not, alright, let's just kill this guy first. Yeah, same deal, we know how to 
deal with them now. Just that don't swing yet. Move in, and attack. Get another assault. Ooh, ooh, we got the demon great machete. Very cool. Um, probably don't have the stats to use that though. That requires 40 strength, which I don't even think. Yeah, I can't even two-hand it. But if we want to be the Capra demon, now we can. And, oh yeah. So <laughs> by the way, if you don't have enough strength, your guy just does this pathetic, like <laughs> he tries to swing it but loses his balance kind of thing. So. Never ever use a weapon you don't have the stats for, because not only is your attack slower, but you'll literally only do like 5 damage. Okay, so... I think, uh, yeah, okay, we want to head in this direction, and ooh, let's get a plunging attack. Oh my god, 2,000 damage. Beautiful. One shot the first time. Okay, that's, that's a little easy. Alright, one left, one left. And then uh, we'll get the, uh... I guess main treasure that's up ahead. Not that we're really going to be using it, but maybe you will, so I'm hoping. Okay, through the legs. And just like that. Now, we are going to have to have that whole football team up ahead. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh, that's right, this whole part. I believe you're just going to want to just run and don't look back. Yeah. Couple of them right there. But once we make it to the treasure chest, we're safe. And we find a large flame ember. Right? So we're familiar with how embers work. This one is for upgrading fire weapons all the way to uh, plus, plus 10, I believe. Because you gotta get a plus 5 weapon to turn that into a fire weapon, which is just at 0. Then you can upgrade it to plus 10 at that point with this ember. Uh, we will find the blacksmith to do that. We haven't met him yet, uh, but we'll do that. Eventually. Um, I'm wondering how easily <laughs> I can get past here. Normally I just homer bone after this, but uh, let's be brave. Let's, let's see how far we get. Because yeah, those ones didn't notice us yet. These ones will. And there. Oh, that was very easy. And one more. Which we can just easily sneak past. So yeah, again, like I said in the previous episode, or the one before that, uh, Dark Souls, you, you as, as tough and scary as it is, you can literally just run past everything and not fight a single enemy. <laughs> like, if you watch any uh, speedruns uh, of Dark Souls, where people just beat the game in an hour and a half, um, they are like never fighting enemies, they just run past everyone. There's a few that they'll kill if there's like a special item they need to get, but um, yeah, mostly, mostly just focusing on bosses. Um, so speaking of which, here's the boss. Um, before we do that though, there's one last area over here. Um, now you're going to want to do a little running start and make a jump over here. Because way over here, as you saw, there was an item. Right here. Another soul of the brave warrior. And now, I don't think you can easily get back, but this fall shouldn't kill us. And, oh, but I missed it anyway. Yeah, it did, did not kill us. So, up ahead over there, right? Looks like just a wall. And all around it is uh, some bugs, like I said. Uh, we still do have to deal with bugs <laughs> in the Chaos Demon sort, but we uh, we won't have to... We can deal with more than bugs, you know, by the time it's just bugs and ogres. So, normally you'll come here and you won't be able to get through this, but because we're a Chaos Servant and we devoted 30 humanity, we get access to the shortcut. Yes, so going through here and up those stairs over there, we can actually skip the entire like demon runes <laughs> and lost eyes of Lotharia. Um That's not why we're here, though. Why we're here is because we want to kill these bugs. And if you noticed, I think it was this one, it had red glowing eyes, which means he's a special one. And from him, we get the sunlight maggot. And uh, we can get some uh, bonus items from these guys. There's a chance to get them, so. Ooh, and there's a crystal lizard. Oh, that's a miss. Not that, though. Something Titanite and shards. I was from the crystal. Uh, okay, over there is a uh, a Titanite demon. Um, we're not gonna go through again. Like I said, we're gonna actually uh, do the level, right? So some spoilers. So what's up ahead? Uh, it's very very dangerous lava area. But we're gonna go through the level properly because you know I want to show you guys what Dark Souls is all about. But you know, in case you're uh, in case you're not a fan of this area. Just be aware, all it takes is 30 humanity, 
and uh, you can skip parts of the game that you uh, paid to play. So let's um, continue on our way, <laughs> taking out some bugs here. Last one, we got the Sunlight Maggot. It's going to be very important, right? Um, I'll talk more about why we did this once we sort of um, get to the other side of this area properly. Um, but for now, we're just going to carry on as if we didn't see nothing, right? Uh, back up this way, we can make it to the boss arena. And right here, we're going to get to fight a familiar looking face. Yes, and as you can tell from the music and the looks, this is the Demon Fire Sage. And, ah, he got me. So, this again is the third time <laughs> we're fighting this type of boss. Let's heal first. Um, ah, yeah. Be careful. This guy is surprisingly more dangerous than you might think. Oh god, because like... Again, just like, uh, he's formatted the same way as when we... Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> he's just uh, trolling us with the... We're trying to heal. Well, that's that. Okay, so this boss is a little annoying because <laughs> the bonfire is... Uh, Okay, wait, no, the bonfire's not too far away. It's the next boss. No, the one after that. That's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Uh, thankfully, it's just a quick, quick run over here. I won't even cut this out. Um, probably not gonna bother killing anything on the way. Yeah, this boss is nasty because he does a lot more damage than the tutorial or the secret boss that we fought. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry, just trying to not get burned there. That was gonna be. Um, but yeah, he does a lot of damage, so it can be very easy for exactly what just happened to me to happen to you, where you're trying to heal and he just does not let you. Sometimes in those situations, you just gotta accept your fate. And um, ooh, there we go. Just go on the offense. Now we are gonna have a good time here because we're actually doing a lot more damage. This is one of those battles where be more of a war of attrition where just you're doing so little damage that it's uh okay I think it's so hard to dodge that oh no okay there we go yeah we're already halfway down so this should go fairly smoothly and I think I got the timing down on those explosions of when exactly you want to jump yeah okay once you corner him and he starts just butt slamming then the tables Tied really tight because yes, he's just gonna keep trying to fall back. Yeah, it's not not fun, is it? <laughs> Ow. Let's right. uh, finish this off. Alright, just like that. We go from not hitting him once and dying to killing him with. Um, I don't even think we had to heal once. We just <laughs> got a little scratched, so not totally unscathed. But anyway, this boss is cool because he will drop um, his demon catalyst. Which I believe is for casting sorceries. Um, let me check real quick. Um, oh yeah, I got I got to clean up my inventory by the way. Um, I think here it is. So this thing here, yeah, it's a catalyst. So that'll be for um, can be used as a fire weapon. Um, and oh yeah, we get a little bit of lore. So yeah, this is for casting spells, right? And uh, this goes into the bit of like the backstory of Dark Souls, where um, you might think, oh, fire spells, pyromancy, right? Uh, wrong. So Pyromancy and um, and fire magic were two separate things, um, very related. Um, essentially, what happened was that, uh, and sort of to explain all of the demon stuff going on here, fire magic was what we had at the gate after, like from the cutscene, right? That's what the Witch of Izalith and her daughters of Chaos used. They used uh, fire magic, right? Let's fast forward, if you remember, I talked about when um, the first flame started to fade and Gwyn threw himself into the fire. That was a bit of a last resort, right? But before that, though, you know, they were aware of the problem, the people of Dark Souls. And, um, oh yeah, here we got the squad. And this will be a good demonstration of how, um, you know, using the same types of attacks against enemies uh, was not effective against them. But anyway, in the world of Dark Souls, right, they knew the first flame was fading and, you know, all four of the great powers they all used the the first flame in some way, and uh, the Witch of Izalith tried to fix things herself. Um, what she tried to do, rather than try to keep the first flame going, she tried to make a new first flame. So I guess 
I'm going to do the, you know, the second flame. Um, when she did that, though, uh, things got a little bit out of control, and she uh, ended up getting consumed by the uh, by the flame. And uh, from there, that the flame kind of spiraled out of control, and it ended up turning into what we now know as chaos, where um, it's a more like aggressive and chaotic, you know, <laughs> that's the best word to describe it really, form of fire, you know, fire magic, they sort of had it under control, they had a society that kind of made sense, whereas with chaos, everything turned into demons, chaos warped everything, you know, like, you can see it in all the architecture. Um, by the way, we just unlocked a shortcut um, back up here, which um, I'm actually going to go sit back over at this bonfire. But yeah, chaos took over, the demon runes became, that's when, like, you know, they became demons proper, I don't think they were demons before that. Could be wrong, but uh, you know everything went bad. You know, ceaseless discharge was probably a normal-ish looking guy, and then you know, chaos, and then you know we saw that ugly, uh, ugly, butt-faced <laughs> kind of guy. Um, you know, chaos. You know, look at her, top of that, top half of her. She was probably a normal-ish looking woman. Now she's half spider because because chaos. You know, kids, kids don't 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 do chaos. <laughs> it's not good for you. Even the black knights, right? Um, their weapons. They were actually originally Silver Knights. Um, some more lore. I don't know if this is spoilers, but start talking about it now because we're in the Demon Ruins, may as well. Once chaos happened, um, as you can imagine, demons are kind of scary. You know, they're causing horrible things around the land. So Gwyn, being the force of good, it was his job to go deal with it. Um, you know, each land, I think they were kind of like countries, right? Like you had the land of Isolith where they were doing their things. Um, you know, they kept their fire magic to themselves and everything was fine. But once they got to chaos, they started running around and I guess, burning the lands and eating people and all that. So Gwyn says none of that. He uh, grabbed some of his most loyal knights of Silver Knights. You know, all he had were Silver Knights at the time. And uh, they went off and had a big war with the demons. And um, those knights who fought in that war, they uh, the chaos actually warped their weapons and their armor. And that's what turned them into Black Knights, right? And that's why the Black Knight weapons do more damage against demons, because uh, because they were used to fight the demons. <laughs> um, and even explains some of the attacks, right? Like these big, heavy swings. Um, if we actually read the descriptions on these weapons, it'll mention, the large motion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago, right? So we got those Black Knights fighting Capra demons and uh, Taurus demons and probably all sorts of other nasty berserk references. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, that's about the big chunks of lore. I'm sure we'll talk about some more things along the way. Um, don't want to go there. I'll end this way. Uh, we'll wrap it up at this point. Um, this episode should be coming out on Christmas, and um, I forgot to open with this, but I do want to say happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. You know, happy Hanukkah. Crazy Kwanzaa and a red Ramadan. All that good stuff. Whatever you celebrate, it's time to celebrate of the year ish. No. So <laughs> spend some time with your family. Tell them you love them. You know, all that good stuff. Smile to someone. Spread some joy. You know, don't don't make things worse. Life is hard. It's 2020 is rough. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> we're we're almost done with 2020. So on that note, again, Merry Christmas. Hope you all have a good one. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>